Hi everyone, this is Dave, and in today's video, I want to talk to you about the announcements that Apple made just yesterday with their new MacBook Pro lineup. Now, before I do so, if you're new to the channel, please do subscribe. I publish a new tech video pretty much every single day. And also, if you like what you're seeing, please do hit that like button. And for those of you who say I'm not gonna talk about the Microsoft products, please do stay tuned. Now, before I talk about the new MacBook Pros, there is a new addition to the studio. You can see on the wall up here. This is an art print from B. Arty. I absolutely love it. It's sort of got a fast food vibe about it. And I'll leave a link to where you can pick one up for yourself down in the video description. So let's move on to the main topic for this video, the new announcements from Apple. And I watched with great excitement when they announced the new MacBook Pros. Now let's just cover off the very lowest entry level MacBook Pro. First of all, it's a 13 inch device. It's got the new keyboard. It's got a new screen. It's got fantastic battery life, updated processors, regular function keys. And I'll come back to why I'm emphasizing regular function keys in a short while. And this is replacing the 13 inch MacBook Air. And the reason they're doing this is they're saying it's just as light as the outgoing MacBook Air. It's got a lot more performance. It's in fact got a smaller footprint, smaller volume, etc. So there's no longer any need for the MacBook Air. The only difference, of course, is the MacBook Pro is the same thickness all the way across the whole sort of device rather than tapering down at the front. So moving on, the more exciting thing was the new 13 inch MacBook Pro with the touch bar and of course the 15 inch MacBook Pro with the touch bar. Now again, before I move on to this touch bar interface, these have got the updated processors, also thinner, available in silver or space gray as well, and the better screen, so better color gamut on the screen, uh, better accuracy and all day battery life as well. In the UK, unfortunately, the price hike is quite amazing, so they are quite a lot more expensive than the outgoing models. But what they've introduced here is the touch bar, and this resides where you normally find the function keys. And it's a little tiny thin screen, runs across the length of the top of the laptop, just at the top edge of the keyboard. And you can in fact use it as you would function keys if you want to, it's touch sensitive. But the reason this is so great is that it actually changes dependent upon what application you're using. So if you're using Photoshop, it will change to Photoshop shortcuts. If you're using Safari, you'll be able to manage your tabs and favorites, etc., all on the bar. And if you're using something like a music or composition application, then you can use it for actually mixing tracks and doing 10 points of multi-touch on this tiny thin bar all at the same time. So it's really very, very good indeed. I also watched the demonstration they did with the touch bar in use with Final Cut Pro 10. That was of most interest to me, obviously, because I edit a lot of videos. Uh, that's primarily what I use my Mac for. And it looked great. It's gonna take a bit of getting used to. You're gonna have to sort of retrain your brain because I know a lot of the shortcuts on the keyboard anyway to do various uh, things in Final Cut Pro 10. But you can use the touch bar to sort of do uh, edits and inserts and scrub through your timeline, uh, and also to add things like um, uh, fades to audio tracks. So lots of different features. The one thing that I came away with from the event, apart from great excitement, that these look absolutely fantastic, is that this touch bar is obviously touch sensitive, and it would have just been so nice if they'd have said, and here's one more thing, the screen's touch sensitive as well. But I don't think Apple would ever do that. I think they want you to keep your screen pristine without any fingerprints on and away from the main sort of user interface, i.e. the keyboard and now the touch bar. And that brings me on to another point. I mentioned at the beginning of this video that I would be talking about the Microsoft products. And Microsoft just had their event where they announced the new Microsoft Surface Book, which of course has a touch screen. Also the Surface Pro, which has a touch screen. And also the Surface Studio, which has a ginormous touch screen and I was more excited about those announcements than the Apple announcements because they seemed more innovative but I work within the Apple ecosystem 
and if only you could run Mac OS X on the Microsoft Surface Studio, that would be amazing. I'd order it without even thinking about it. But I just personally don't get on with Windows 10. It's not my platform of choice. So they are great products and Microsoft are really pushing the boundaries of innovation. And that Surface Studio, if I can get my hands on one just to try for a week or two, I will definitely get one into the studio. But anyway, back to the Apple products. I think it's a really good update. I think Apple have done just about enough to pique a lot of people's interests. The price hikes in the UK and probably in other countries as well aren't welcome, but they will be good quality. Apple will always have really good quality control and I'm really looking forward to getting my hands on one. In fact, I won't just be getting one, I'll be getting both the 13 inch version and the 15 inch version into the studio so I can share my opinion, sort of a hands-on opinion with you. But first impressions from what I've seen from the event are wow. I'm really, really excited. And again, the increase in performance because there was a lot of other upgrades apart from what I've talked about here, things like the processor, graphics, even the audio has been upgraded as well. All of these add up to a really professional and high performance laptop. And it really is the benchmark for all the other manufacturers to sort of meet, in my opinion. And it's gonna be fantastic. I can't wait for my delivery to uh, come in and I'll be sharing that all with you on the channel very, very soon. So anyway, let me know what you think about the new Apple MacBook Pros. Leave me some comments below. Will you be picking one up for yourself? Will you be going for silver or space gray, 13 inch or 15 inch? And do you think this touch bar is just a gimmick or do you think it will become an integral part of your workflow? So that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please do hit that like button and I'll see you in another one very soon.